Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited to show you this great RV today. Uh, my number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Now please do keep in mind that these are live videos and today I did not have my clipboard so Teresa Crawley let me borrow hers and I made this fantastic little sign. Uh, so today's really cool. Uh, this is a 2022 Baystar. Uh, due to some generator shortages in uh, our production, we actually don't have a lot of base stars this year. This is a highly desired uh, model, so I'm so excited to have one to show you. Please go ahead, head on back, Jody. As usual, I like to start from the inside out. Um, if you're not familiar with our station, please do note that we do have a live video every day. Um, and, you know, we'll do five videos a week for RVs, and we do... Um, five for trailers, horse trailers, and we do five for trucks. So if you're looking to buy something in this industry, I'll tell you TransWest TTT RV uh, on YouTube is a great place. And then all of these videos, of course, are also on Facebook. Uh, so today's model is a bath and a half model. One of the things that I really like about this unit is the first thing that Jody's showing you. It's a full square shower as opposed to that 35 inch radius. This is just a real nice luxury. Uh, so this coach is right in the middle of the base star segment there's 11 models this is a 36 foot uh, model it's actually 36 feet 11 inches long uh, we have three 36 foot models in this uh in this segment and we have one that's a little bit longer at 38 feet and then we have them starting at 30. so really wide segment this is a gas powered rv um, so one of the things that's nice about this is you've got this big skylight up here but as you can see there's a ton of room uh, you've got nice shelves to keep your shampoo bottles all the way down and up so big big storage here or not storage at uh, showers here and then always we have a nice place to keep your towel or your robe and then i love the quality of these numar products so one of the things that's really nice is that you've got these uh, solid surface countertops uh, really big medicine cabinets um, and the construction and the quality of these is just fantastic now this is a harbor uh, maple glazed uh, mat and this is a wrapped finish so if you can't tell that this is not a solid wood door that's because Numar does a fantastic job with this wrapped finish um, and this is one of the best things about this product is this is such a durable coach for anybody who's looking to full time maybe he just wants to get out there with a the family this is just such a nice coach oh here let's make sure we show you uh, another little storage area down here great place to put maybe a hamper um, and then if you'll notice all of your drawers are nice and deep uh, so and then soft close and there's six total drawers so this has got a lot of capacity in here and then underneath a great place to keep linens or sheets as well so really really nice now if you're looking for some privacy in the morning I love that we have these great pocket doors there's just a little push down and release Nice solid pocket door. Really, really cool that you can get a little bit of privacy. Um, and on this model, you'll note that, take a look at the size of this bed. So underneath here, you have more storage. And there's so much room on either side of this bed stand. If you wanted to put a CPAP machine, you'll see plenty of room there to put it so that it's below your heart. I know that that's important. And there's a plug right to the right and left of it on either side of these nightstands, along with a little place to store your uh, water bottle, maybe your sultry novel, whatever you might be reading at this point in time. Now you'll note that I have this guy here. This is for your convertible uh, bed up front. So this is the cushion that we'll use up there. Uh, but I wanted to show off a little bit of these wardrobes. Look at the size of these. So all those cabinets in the back, and then these two huge wardrobes. Really nice dresser here with some big, big drawers on top. And then of course we have day and night shades. Look at the size of these drawers. These are just so fantastic. And then I love the way that Numar does this. So they put these on these little extendable tracks. So you actually have the ability to get all the way into the drawer because it extends past the wardrobe here. So super nice here. And I do want to show you when this comes up. So there's your day shade and your night shade and then an emergency exit along with two more 110 outlets. And then this is a great place. Uh, starting in 2022, we did not, um, we decided not to uh, provide um, DVD players 
or Blu-ray players because everyone's got smart TVs these days. Sometimes they're being used, sometimes they're not. But all of this is pre-wired for you. Uh, and this does have the extra packet that gives you power to your nightstand. So there's a number of different options on uh, the Bay Stars, And I wanted to show that to you today. Um, this one has uh, quite a list of things that have been chosen for it. Um, but what's really nice about this model is look at all of these different seating configurations that you have to choose from. So really, really cool. Um, I have about 30 RVs on order right now uh, between Renegade, Newmar, and Winnebago. Um, and honestly, it's so fun to build them. It's so fun to help people pick out exactly what they want. And it's interesting because you hear a lot of people go, oh, I hear you're sold out. And I'm like, no, in fact, the best thing that has ever happened to this industry is people are getting exactly what they want these days. Uh, so take a look at all of this room up here. Really, really fantastic amount of storage. Uh, sometimes we'll have clients uh, ask, oh, what about putting a CPAP up here? Do you have plugs? There's no plugs here. They're in the base underneath. But from what I've heard, it's better to have uh, that below your heart level anyway. And with all of that extra room underneath, you're still going to be able to operate any kind of medical device you need to be safe. Um, okay, so now that we're through the bedroom, um, oh, so we should also talk about the decor because uh, this is the urban decor. I love gray. I don't know if anyone's seen my most recent video, but um, I did uh, the Colfax, which is also a gray interior on my Numar. I was super pleased with how it turned out. Um, but again, another pocket door for privacy. So really nice that you can, you know, kind of isolate, have your own restroom, get ready in the morning, have a cup of coffee, de-escalate before, you know, you go to bed at night, all those things. And then this has also got the optional Splendid washer and dryer. So even though we are in a, you know, a segment that oftentimes does not have all of the nicer amenities, you're in a Numar, so you have access to all of these fantastic things. Now this is not a standard feature, it's optional. So if you'd like to have that extra storage space, please keep in mind that would be a great long wardrobe as well. And I'm gonna let Jody come on through just so that I can show you a little bit of this mid bath. So this is such a nice mid bath. Um, first of all, how's that? Look at, there's Jody. <laughs> Everyone say hi. Uh, he's our fantastic cameraman, uh, but so nice to have a full length mirror so you can check on yourself before you head out for the day. And then also if you come in here, Jody, I'm gonna let you come over and you're gonna probably, probably prop that door open so I don't close it on you. But take a look at all of this room. So a full second medicine cabinet. Um, if you're the early riser in the family and you want to keep your hair dryer and curling iron in here, or flat iron, uh, there's a plenty of room. You've got a GFI grounded uh, two 110 outlets. You also have a fantastic fan in here, um, access to your water pump, and then a nice stainless undermount sink. And then again, just a ton of additional storage. So really, really nice. Uh, layout. This is the 3609 floor plan. And I know I mentioned it earlier, but again, one of, oh, look at that. There's so much storage. If anybody's out there that has grandkids, um, this would be a great coach for you. But so back to what I was saying, I know I mentioned it earlier, but there's so many options in this space star. And one of the cool things is this has got the new uh, V8 engine. So Ford made the V10 uh, engine for a long time. And when they went when they went ahead and redid uh, this uh, this chassis, this Freightliner chassis, what they or this Ford chassis, what they did is they actually didn't just redo the engine; they also re redid, redid everything underneath. So you've got a much more stable uh, coach, you've got a be much better ride performance, um, and then you have, of course, a little more horsepower and a little more torque. So we went from like 320 to 350. Um, so it, not really a huge, you know, increase in horsepower, but we went from a 10 cylinder down to an eight. So better fuel efficiency and similar power. Um, now behind me, you'll see even more storage. And then here is the brains of the operation. So if you want to have access to your, uh, circuit breakers and all of your fuses, it's really easily locate or easily and conveniently located and very well marked right here in the center of the coach. So just super cool. Uh, this potty has a um, plastic top, but it's a porcelain base. So really nice potty as well. Um, I know toilets make a difference. I, sometimes you get those uh, other brands in that have those plastic commodes and they just don't feel the same. So that's a really nice feature. Uh, now this model is also really convenient for anyone who is uh, hosting a lot of people. And the reason I say that is First of all, look at the length of this couch. This is such a spectacular couch. Um, so you can have everybody at the booth. 
You could have everybody at the couch. I did turn around one of the chairs. Uh, you, of course, you could turn both of those chairs around, but so much room here in this galley to hang out and such a nice uh, entertaining space. Now, over here uh, in the center of the galley, we have a great place to keep, you know, you could do top shelf with some nice, uh, you know, some nice, you know, glasses, uh, whatever you'd like up here. So great, great room up here. Um, really nice uh, Samsung television, but below that we have the optional fireplace. And this fireplace puts off great heat. As you can see here, there's a little fan. So not only do you have your furnace with a 25 gallon propane tank, but you also have this great electric fireplace, which will give you plenty of heat and cold nights. And then take a look at the size of this pantry. This is such a decadent amount of space in your pantry. And I love that you get these really cool full extension uh, cabinet uh, drawers. So these are so nice. Um, I know that most of our RVs um, in the Bay Star and Ventana segment have empty cabinets, but this just makes it so easy to be able to get all the way back. And these are all adjustable. There's little holes along the inside so you can move them up and down to suit. Uh, so depending on what height you need, this one for me is set pretty high. I would probably move it up a little bit and then give myself some more room for things like olive oil and you know, hot sauce, all those great things. Um, I love this. This is a great place to keep a cookie sheet. And uh, the reason I mentioned the cookie sheet is because this coach also has some nice upgraded kitchen amenities. Um, we have the upgraded microwave, so it also is a convection oven. So you can actually preheat this to 350 and bake some Toll House, or you could just go ahead and microwave a burrito if you're late at night and you wanna just get a quick snack. Um, so all of those functions there, but it's just nice to have this extra overhead storage for those baking dishes. And then uh, this is the upgraded refrigerator uh, package. This gives us two additional uh, house batteries. I'm sorry, yeah, two additional house batteries, an ice maker, and then um, a better refrigerator. So nice feature here. Um, as you can see, this is a ton of room, really nice freezer, really nice refrigerator. And then of course, in true new more fashion, leave no pocket unused. Another great storage place here underneath. You could keep placemats in here, you know, anything along those lines, napkins. Um, now, another feature I like is take a look at how big this counter is. So if you're out there in the market looking for an RV, we all know how hard it is to find something that's got good, ca good counter space. You've got over 60 inches, 68 inches of counter space here. And you'll see they have these nice covers where you have the stainless steel uh, undermount sink. You also have a kitchen window, so of course we all know that the party's on the passenger side and the business is on the driver's side, so you can see what's going on out there. If you're entertaining, you've got someone sitting underneath your awning. Um, so that's kind of cool, keep an eye on the kids maybe. Um, but I love the fact that they give you so much flexibility here in terms of counter space, but also, this is nice, it's just integrated. So it sits just like this and so cool because it actually acts as a backsplash as well. So if you are making any kind of stuff that splatters, it's not gonna get onto that beautiful tiled wall. Um, again, this urban's one of my favorite uh, decors. I love that tile, that, in, that inlay tile, so cool. And then here, one of the other things that's really nice about this little suburban uh, cooktop, um, not only is it three burner, but it also has a towel rack. So I think that that's super handy. Um, my, my RV does not actually have a towel rack, um, and I don't particularly care for the hooks. Oh, here's the other cover for the sink. As you can see, they fit underneath here pretty well. Nice big door or drawers and tons and tons of storage here. So like I said, this would be a great coach for anyone who wants to take uh, the kids out and go camping. Um, anyone who's spending a large amount of time here, um, you'll see that there's, um, oh, here's all the extra touch-up paint. So we do provide that for you. Um, this is going to have the gable exterior. So these are the paint colors for the gable. It's a really pretty exterior. Um, this is the remote for the fireplace. And you'll notice that we have three TV remotes. Well, where's the third television? If it's not up front, the third television is actually in the exterior bay outside. So that's super cool. And then here is your remote for your fireplace. So that's awesome. Um, so we'll just go ahead and cover a few more cabinets here. And then if you're wondering where you would plug in your coffee pot, there's a, uh, there's a 110 outlet right here above so you could plug your coffee pot in. And then here above, again, more storage. Just a ton of room. This would be a great place to keep any kind of party trays, things along those lines. 
And again, and just another nice, fantastic fan in the kitchen area. So if you are cooking anything that has some smells. Um, so one of the things that's nice about this, this coach comes in at a price point that's very similar to that of like a Winnebago Bolt, for instance. Um, so people that come in looking for a B-class van ask a lot of times what the advantages and disadvantages are of an A-class over a B-class. One of the things I'll tell you is that having a 22 and a half inch diameter, uh, which is what you have on the Bay Star, not the Bay Star Sport, but the Bay Star. So having that bigger rim with those Alcoa wheels really gives you a better road presence, but also on top of it, your wheels are located underneath the exterior of the coach. So it's very balanced. It feels very nicely weighted. But more importantly, you've got a 75 gallon freshwater tank in this coach. You get a 60 gallon gray water tank. Gray water is like the king of everything. That's what allows you to have nice showers. You've got a uh, 45 gallon black water tank. I mean, so this is a really, really nice thing. And it's really important to understand for those of you that are out there in the market and thinking, gosh, I don't know if I could afford a Numar. You really can. This is very, very sig similar to the, to the cost of a Winnebago uh, B class. I mean, if you put those two in perspective, you're getting a bath and a half, a huge shower, a fireplace, uh, a, a convertible booth dinette. I mean, just so much for the money. So if you haven't considered this segment before, I love to price one out for you. I do this all the time. Um, I send order guides out, get you all the information you need. And I'm more than happy to give you really specific pricing on exactly what you want, not what I have. Because I think at the end of the day, um, it's so important to get this right the first time. There's so many nice coaches on the market, but there's really nothing nicer than a Numar. And I know you'll keep it forever, so make sure the one that you pick is the one that you want. Look at all of this storage above. It's just incredible. I'm going to move these little pillows over and take off my cushions. So for those of you who have not watched one of my videos before, one of my very favorite things to have is attachable cushions because it makes them so much easier to move at night. Um, so I really like it when they're all kind of attached like this together. It makes it much, much easier to use. Um, now, Flex Steel got out of the business a little while ago and uh, they were, they were um, still making furniture. Flex Steel is a fantastic company, but they stopped making RV furniture and Williamsburg picked up the pieces for Newmar and came in and really started to put together some fantastic offerings. And when they did, it made things like this possible for us. So take a look at the size of this bed. Now, we've got a king in the back. We have this huge, huge uh, queen size bed here in the middle. And then we've got another one for littles here in the center. So this coach could very easily sleep I mean, six, eight people. And super, super comfy. Uh, this is so soft. It's consecutive. The way that the brakes are when you have your pillow down here, you're not gonna, your hip is nice and supported. You're not gonna feel any bends in that. Um, so really, really cool uh, feature in terms of uh, setup for anyone, like I said, you don't have to be traveling with a lot of people, but if you decide that you'd like to go somewhere and you've got company um, that you wanna bring with you, this coach gives you all of those options, all of that flexibility. So really like that. Also, there's three seatbelts underneath here. So I don't know if you can show those, Jody. And then all of this is so cool, just very conveniently picks up and tucks away so simply. Very, very cool setup. Very easy to use. Just drop that down. And again, I just love these pillows. Uh, and one of the things that's super nice about this, I don't know if any of you have that situation where you like to have lower lumbar support. This is like the most comfortable couch they make. I wish that they made this on all of the RVs. I love this little extra band of cushions down here at the bottom. Uh, when you sit down here, it's just so nice. This is such a great couch. So you could really easily have two people in that booth facing the television, two in those chairs, three or four sitting across here. If it starts raining and you're out camping, everyone can pile in and watch a movie together. Just a really, really nice setup. And I know I show you the storage underneath on that side. But just so you know, there's more storage over here as well. Um, okay, so we talked about horsepower. Um, the torque rating on this is 468 foot-pounds of torque. So plenty of torque to do a flat tow of up to 5,000 pounds. So this has got a 5,000 pound towing capacity as well. Um, did we go over this, Jody? Do I show underneath where this little... So we raised the cabinet height. 
and um, gave us a little more room underneath. So you've got a nice place to keep your dish towels. Um, and then look at this. I love this. This is one of my favorite features. A great place to keep your scrubby. So super, super cool. And then really nice. You have access to that trash can here from the outside as well. So you can actually just reach in and throw in a can or any kind of debris that you want to get rid of before you clean up and head out for a hike. Really nice there. Maybe you keep the dog dishes there. And then we have this residential style faucet head with the spray and pour function as well. And I know I covered the window. Okay, so let's get up here and talk about this. So this coach has the extra uh, upgrade. So it has a nicer inverter. Um, it also has uh, an extra two batteries. And all of that is run here through this power control system. And this is your inverter control. Uh, this coach is also wired, as you can see, solar prep. So it's prepped for solar. And um, what that means is we can actually give you three 175 watt panels for 525 watts of solar. And we're actually, for 525 watts, we come in lower than the factory option from Numar. Uh, Numar has four solar panels that are, uh, you can walk on them. I don't think a lot of people are gonna be upstairs walking on top of their coach. Um, so we like these, uh, these uh, solar panels that we install here, but you could have 525 watts of solar with those extra batteries. Uh, the carefree awning setting is here. And then here's your slide out control. Uh, this does have a really nice satellite system on it by Weingard. It also has the extra or uh, the upgraded uh, water system. So this is a tankless hot water system by Truma. Um, and then this little guy here is where you can see all of your LP tanks. If it's, so this one says freshwater tank, LP tank, gray waste tank, all of these things are here. So you can kind of run through, look at your black water, take a look at your chassis and house batteries. And then I have the generator running right now and you can't even hear it. So that's super, super nice. Um, now I did turn this around because I wanted to show something that's really important to me. When you're driving, you want armrests. And so the driver and the passenger both have armrests in this coach, which is really, really nice. Uh, the other thing that we have that's kind of cool is this bad boy. Oops, let me slide it out first. So this bad boy is cool. So this is an extra option available. Um, but if you do have all of those guests with you and you are looking to entertain, it's really nice to have this extra table. You can put, have this out while you're driving. Uh, so if you're stopping at Burger King and you want to, you know, get your get your you know Big Mac on and you're driving down the road, no problem. You got a nice place to keep everything here. Um, now, if uh, you don't want to have this out, it's really nice. It just converts here. It has really big cup holders in it, and then slides right into place and you still have oh, let me see so this is manual on just so you know so manual on the driver side and power I'm sorry manual on the passenger side and uh, power on the driver side okay here we go so now that I got past that what was I bumping into well I was bumping into this really awesome desk so take a look at that um, so normally I don't have my blackout shades down I wanted to show what that power blackout shade looked like but I wanted to be able to show off this desk and we've got a pretty good white glare that comes from our, our mobile van. Um, but this is a really great place to work. You've got a cup holder, a nice flat surface. Uh, we also do a lot of installation of what's called cradle point. So you can have a 4G or 5G uh, cradle point installed on this. And you can do zoom calls and work while going down the road. Uh, and then right down here, I'm going to see if I can slide this forward for you, Jody, so you can see there is uh, two USB ports and another 110 outlet and a, and a 9 volt. So really, really cool. You've got plenty of power here. Uh, so you can work on the road. And then let's get over to this chassis. So it's really nice whenever you know that you're getting into something and it's the new technology. So they ran that V10 for like 20 years. So this is a great new V8. Um, as you can see, super nice dash panel, very easy to read. Small digital setting here in the center. Um, but really, really clean. And then you do have your steering wheel controls for your cruise control. And you can go through and you can read through your temp, your fuel mileage. You've got a few different menus here. So just a nice, very clean setup. Um, here's where you would turn the generator on and off. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the generator so when we go outside, it's not too loud. You've got power exterior mirrors that are heated. You've got your uh, hazard settings right here. That's to turn your hazard lights on. Um, so. Another thing that's really important about this too, when we talk about that B-class versus A-class comparison, 
you know, having a hydraulic leveling jack system is really, really crucial if you're staying at anything that's got kind of an uneven campsite. So that's a very, very nice feature. Um, the equalizer system is very, very common, very popular, works really well. And um, it's just, it's a really nice feature to have on your coach. Um, another two USB ports down here as well. And then this coach is equipped with the optional uh, navigation system. So nice feature here, we have our full Navi and you'll see we have our rear view camera um, and we also have our left and, rear, left and right rear cameras. Let me see if I think, am I, am I on? Yeah, there we go. I'll just show you that. So the new navigation system is being run by Navingo. Um, so very cool, Rand McAnally jumped out of the market uh, last year. We picked up Navingo and honestly it's a really great system. Uh, I've been using it on my new Superstar since December, and I mean, we've been to Fayetteville, we've been to Texas, we've been to Chicago. Uh, we're, right now my RV is actually in Arizona. So it's been all over the place, and it's a great nav system. Um, I think, to be honest with you, a little bit better than the Rand McAnally. In my, in my opinion, um, all navigation systems are, I guess, subject to personal opinion, but it definitely works really well for us. Okay, so up above here, you're going to see a little bit more for satellite and then a ton of storage. Of course, there is an optional television uh, that you could get if you ordered this from us. If you wanted to have a TV up front so you could watch the game while you're going down the road, you're wor more than welcome to. But with having that stationary television above the fireplace, we just didn't feel it was so necessary. Uh, and it's nice to have this extra storage. Another one of the optional features that you could have for this coach, they do make a bed that comes down. Um, from up here, so this would er eradicate or eliminate uh, the storage space that you have up here, but you could have an extra bunk bed. So if you wanted a bunk over cab in this model, that's something that you could absolutely have. Um, let's see, we talked about, oh, we've got two air conditioners on this unit with uh, two Penguin air conditioners with heat pumps. Uh, we've got the two extra house batteries, we talked about that. Uh, built on 16 uh, on center framing with a star foundation. Uh, no leaks, squeaks, or rattles going down the road. Um, talked about the fireplace, a continuous hot water feature, or continuous hot water fe uh, heater. Uh, we talked about the folding table. Yeah, I think we've covered pretty much everything on the inside of this except for the floor. So this is the optional and upgraded, uh, this is the tile uh, upgraded uh, flooring. So this is, it's still a, a it's still a laminate tile, but it doesn't look like wood, so this upgraded tile looks a little bit more like a marble, if you will. Um, I don't know that I like one versus the other um, enough to pay the extra cash for it, but you know, that's the nice thing about these RVs is you can really come in and customize them and have them be whatever you like them to be, which is so nice. Um, so now before we go all the way down the stairs, I wanna make sure we cover some of those other nice features on this coach. Um, for instance, this is a great place to keep your leashes, your uh, water dishes, your sunscreen, your mosquito repellent, whatever it is. It's just nice to have that little bit of extra storage. And I am gonna grab my measuring tape so we can measure some of these things. Come on out, Jody. So also nice thing to have, it's a little bit different than what you would have on a B class. Again, another upgraded benefit is that you have this full screen. It's it's metal, so this would be a great place to keep your pooch from getting out. So that's a nice feature as well. And then let me unlock this door. I'm going to go ahead and just close this for you, so you can see this beautiful paint job. I love these stairs. So really nice three extension stairs. Uh, we've got our carefree awning. It's actually the winds died down. It's funny when I went to put it out, it was kind of gusty, so I went. I didn't put it out today. But you've got your carefree awning. It does have lights, so a really nice patio setting. And as you can see, it's great because you've got your t exterior TV as well. So on the Baystar models, it's important to differentiate between the Baystar Sport and the Baystar itself. The Baystar itself has 11 different models, and depending on length, you can get this exterior television. So really nice feature. Um, I know we talked about the upgraded inverter. This is your Xantrex inverter. It's right here. But take a look at all the storage space. Really, really nice storage space here. Um, so the height of these, um, the height of these doors is over two feet tall. So really nice. And I'm going to measure from the inside here all the way through. Now there is a uh, partition here. 
also that partition was gonna um, you would only be able to be 15 and a half inches tall that way if you wanted to slide something all the way underneath but we've got 63 total inches in length and then this top shelf here at that 15 inch mark extends all the way out to 39 inches of, of storage up here on top so a lot of extra storage in here um, and I know that when we're looking at the B class segment versus a C class at this price point, it's really important to understand you can fit so much more stuff for camping in a coach like this. You know, you could have your lawn chairs. Um, of course, I really love having um, our, we have a, a, a fire pit that we use, an Outlander fire pit, because there's so many fire bans in camping areas these days. You know, you can keep your propane tank so you could actually have the fire pit away from your coach. Um, and you could keep your fire pit in here along with all your lawn chairs, all of your paddle boards, any of those things that you might be taking with you. Um, another great storage uh, area, again, with overhead pass-through. This pass-through goes all the way across. Um, so just so you understand the width of this all the way across, I'm at 99 inches across. Um, the shelf here is 45 inches uh, tall or long on top. Um, and then from like one side to this, just this, this door here is about 72 inches, so six feet. So for those of you that are antiquers or um, I had somebody ask me, they find really cool pieces of wood and they make art of them um, and they go all over the world or all over the United States finding huge pieces of really cool wood to, to sculpt with. And he's like, where, where can I put that? And I mean, here's your answer. Like you could totally fit it in a Baystar. Um, I guess we should just measure this for giggles since we're in here. Um, we're looking at about 39 inches in terms of length and then in depth we're another 25 inches deep. So lots and lots of room. Um, if you didn't see it earlier, there is an LED or not yeah, there's an LED light here on the on the door or on the wall. So you've got nice lighted cabinets the whole way through. Um, here's where you turn on your uh, tank, your heated tank pad. So what that means is you actually have um, electric heat going to your water tank. Again, you've got a 75 gallon uh, fresh water tank, a 60 gallon gray water tank, and a 45 gallon black water tank. Um, there's two 110 outlets there with a GFI ground, and then there's another GFI over here for another two 110 outlets. So if you want to run anything outside, you've got plenty of room for that blender and that margarita maker. Um, okay, we talked a little bit about the differences. Um, these Alcoa rims are going to be a little bit quieter going down the road, but they're 22 and a half inch diameter is really gonna be the difference maker for giving you that better ride quality. So uh, there's a lot of things in this segment that are competitive. There's nothing that drives like a Newmar. If you don't believe me, come out and see me. We've got a fantastic test drive uh, with lots of frontage road so you don't have to get right on the freeway. Um, but I'd love to take you out and show you the difference that it is. Um, and that's our slogan, you know, when you know the difference, you buy a Newmar. Okay, so another bay with a ton of pass-through storage. Take a look at that all the way through and across the top again and another, uh, another LED light on the outside. And then the next day over, we have our water tank. So pretty easy. And then here we see, um, this is a little bit slanted. So you'll notice, you know, one of the things that's nice about this coach is it's designed because it's a little bit longer so that when you go out of a parking lot, it's not gonna scrape or drag. So very cool thought going into that. Um, so here we have that 5,000 pound towing connector or uh, uh, towing <laughs> tow hitch and your seven pin connector along with our really cool backup camera. Um, I love, love, love this paint job. It's so pretty. Um, just a really, really bright, fun uh, exterior paint. Of course, this is all um, this is all a full finish paint. There are no decals or stickers here to fade. This is going to last for a really long time. Um, we've got, of course, our 50 amp power cord here. And like I said, this whole, this whole setup is really easy to access. As you can see, everything on the business side has got a great layout, very easy. More room again, like this little storage bay. I mean, there's so many things you could keep in here. What a great place to keep your firewood. Again, another 25 inches by 33 inches so I mean that's a lot of room that you could keep firewood um, this is where you would keep your black water hose so you wouldn't have to have it you know 
you can keep some gloves in there. Here's your fuel filling station. This compartment I'm gonna say is a, probably about two feet wide. So 24 inches, yep, 24 by about the same 20. This is a 24 by 21. Um, but still LED light in the compartment. And then take a look here, check out, uh, check out this great water base. So, so nice. Um, what I like about this is that you have, everything is so well labeled, easy to use. You've got an outside water, um, uh, you've got an outside shower with hot and cold water. Uh, they've also opted to have the, uh, the extra uh, whole house water, uh, water filter here. Um, and then as you can see, You've got a separate container here, a separate compartment for your black water, which is so cool. Just love that. So very, very nice. Um, great setup by Numar, easy to use. Now, we've seen underneath most of these compartments from the other side, but as you can see, this is so much storage on this 30, 36 foot RV. For any of you that are looking um, for an inexpensive way to get out and go camping for a little bit longer, any of you that want to, you know, maybe spend a few months out down at a resort or maybe you're going to head down to Baja and just do some great surfing. This is your coach. You know how many surfboards you could fit underneath there? I mean, it's just so cool that you could actually get out, get away and bring your uh, bring your home with you. Really love that. Um, so again, we have a nice uh, Cummins Onan generator. Uh, this, this is a quiet gas generator. It's a 5.5 uh, kilowatt or 55 watt generator. So plenty of power. Um, and then we uh, talked, of course, about our batteries. Again, we have, uh, we do have um, a total of six batteries on this coach as opposed to four because of that extra um, refrigerator package that we opted for. And then a 25 gallon, um, a 25 gallon propane tank powering your furnace, of course. And then once again, just this really beautiful full paint finish, uh, your Ford V8. Nice convex uh, body painted mirrors. Um, really, really huge windshield. Great way to see out of the coach. And I think before we go today, I'm going to end on the I'm going to end on the inside, and we'll fade to an outside shot. But I want to show you how much walking room you have when you come through this coach. So I know we talked about this screen door, but if you do have like your little fine furry friends. It's nice, it's gonna latch. You're not gonna have to worry about them escaping. Jody, I will let you in. Um, but yeah, let's, let's bring these slides in. And I meant to do that before we went outside. Uh, in these live videos, I've just got so much to remember. Sometimes I forget stuff. But I know that a lot of people wanna see what kind of room you have. And something I failed to mention is this bed does not need to fold. Uh, it will store just as it is. So plenty of room for storage here. A little bit longer. So here we go. And then let's just take a look at this with this slide brought in. I'm gonna go past you, Jody. So it's right above your head. Maybe should have started the generator since I have all the lights on and no electricity. Uh, for the record, folks, if you have uh, your solar panels up top. Um, with those three solar panels, I was able to go boondocking and stay out camping with just three AGM, so three 100 watt AGM batteries um, and not have to use my generator um, for a really long time. So we run our generator for like an hour and a half at night just to make sure we had everything charged up, but it kept my refrigerator going. It kept everything uh, powered up. Um, I really encourage you, if you haven't considered solar before, to give me a call and let me explain to you some of the benefits. But yeah, I wanted to make sure we covered this. Look at the amount of space in here. So if you do have littles, if you are camping, if you're looking to get out on the open road, this RV has more room than most RVs do closed, um, than it does, than most RVs do open. I mean, this is so much space. As you can see, access to your refrigerator, you can use your uh, microwave and uh, convection oven while in motion. All you've got to do is turn on your generator, which is totally fine to do during down, going down the road. You could actually uh, 
I do all of your laundry while you're in motion as well. So I don't know, if, if you're in this market, if you're looking for a new RV and you haven't considered the Baystar yet, or if you're just shopping and this is like one of the videos you're watching, 100% a five-star review for the 3609 Numar Baystar. It's a fantastic offering in 2022. Um, and you know, if this is available for sale, give me a call. But even if it's not your coach and you wanna customize it, that's okay. Give me a call anyway, we'll order one for you. Uh, the Newmar dealer meeting's coming up pretty soon. We're gonna have all of our new 2023s out. So this is just an exciting time to be in the RV market. Really a great time to get exactly what you want and get on the road and go camping. Again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. I'm gonna let Jody back, uh, gracefully back out the door. Um, are you just gonna stay right there? Yeah, there we go. So we'll back out the door gracefully. Again, I'm sorry for ending on the inside. I know I normally end on the outside, but I just wanted to make sure we all had a chance to take a look at how this coach is closed up and beautiful. And now when we fade to that closing shot, you'll see her in all of her grandeur. So thanks again, guys. Thanks for tuning in.